Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome as we celebrate the accomplishments of our Vermont Adult Learning Class of 2019. Thank you all for coming. If we could have everybody take their seats, we are going to get started in just a minute. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome as we celebrate our 2019 Vermont Adult Learning graduates. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I'm Eric Peterson. I am the Regional Director for Vermont Adult Learning in Franklin and Grand Isle Counties. Uh, just a few housekeeping things here first off. Um, if you have crying children and you don't want to miss any of the ceremony, there is a room adjacent to the connect corner over there where there is glass and you may uh, watch the ceremony there easily. Uh, if you need a bathroom, we have bathrooms. If you go back out into the lobby and straight back towards the fellowship hall in the way back there. Um, we would also ask you at this time to please silence your cell phones so we don't have any interruptions. Um, and at the end of the ceremony, if we could have you please remain seated until all of the graduates have exited the hall. Uh, there is plenty of cake and punch for everyone, so there's no hurry to get out back there. And speaking of, there is plenty of cake and punch for everyone, so please join us afterwards in the fellowship hall. Uh, before we get started this evening, uh, I would like to thank some of the Vermont Adult Learning staff who are in attendance here. Uh, joining us tonight from our central office, we have our executive director, Hal Cohen. And we have our director of program operations, Joe Priesberhardt. And joining us also from uh, Vermont Adult Learning's Board of Trustees, we have Jim Poots and Kathy Lavoie. And I'd also like to take a moment to recognize the teachers and staff of Vermont Adult Learning in Franklin and Grand Isle counties. Um, and please stand up or wave if you're already standing so people can see who you are. We have our education advisor, Chad Dupree. Our teacher, Christy Hancock Boutin. Our, 
our high school completion plan managers, Doris Almodovar, Amy Cowan, and Don Manchester Austin. Our English language learning teacher, Lee Smith. Our English language learning intern, Lenore Pepe. Our employment specialist, Donna Dupree. And Teresa Robert. And our office manager, Valerie Maldonado. I'd also like to take a minute to recognize our volunteers. We have a growing number of volunteers here at Val, without whom we would not be able to do what we do. Uh, these individuals selflessly give of their time and energy to come in and work with our students. They provide services to our students that we'd not be able to provide otherwise without their help and support. So um, if you are here, please stand as I call your name so that we may recognize you. Uh, first off, our adult basic education volunteers, uh, Valerie Allen, who works up in our Richburg site, Dan Meglin, Susan Wright, and Beth Jessamine. Thank you so much. And I'd also like to thank our English language learning volunteers, Patience Engstrom, Sadie Fitzgerald, and Anna Bretner. So thank you so much to our staff and volunteers. Um, I would also like to take a moment to thank some of our community partners who I know are in attendance today. We partner with employment service agencies and with a whole variety of other social service agencies and organizations as well as technical skill training providers to meet the needs of our students and help them in completing their education. There's too many of them to name, uh, but let's all give them a big thank you. And so again, on behalf of Vermont Adult Learning in Franklin and Grand Isle Counties, thank you all so much for coming out this evening. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce all of you to our Executive Director of Vermont Adult Learning, Hal Cohen. Hi everybody, welcome. Uh, thank you for being here today, and congratulations to the graduating class, and also congratulations to those of you who are receiving special awards today. And thank you to the VAL staff. Thank you for your dedication, your hard work, and the support you've given these students. If not for you, many of these students wouldn't be here today. And thank you to the family and friends who are here in supporting these graduates. I can't tell you how important your support has been to these students and how much your continued support will mean to them. Let me tell you a little personal story about myself. Um, I'm the first person in my immediate family to actually graduate college. Um, my father, in fact, when he was 16, he joined the Navy and to go to World War II and had quit high school. And in the Navy, he got his GED, like some of you who are here today. And when I was very young, my grandmother came to me and she had, it's called a bank passbook. And you young folks, you wouldn't know what it is, but in the old days, we used to have a, a, a kind of like bank book. And when you made a deposit into the bank, you gave it to the teller and they like typed in how much money was in your account. Very different than today. And in those days too, you used to get paid in cash and you used to get that money in an envelope and it would come every week. And what my grandmother would do is every week when she got her salary, she would put some in this passbook. And she came to me one day and she showed me the passbook and she said, you see this, Hal? This is gonna be for your education. One day you're gonna finish high school and one day you're gonna go to college. And as, so as a young child, I always had it in my head that this was the expectation, that this is what I was gonna do. And 
in the end, it worked out that way. And I, I never doubted for a moment that I would go on for higher education. And that expectation and that support made all the difference for me. And to those of you who have children or you may have children, it's really important that you create that expectation for them and that you support them in their education. And you now are models of success. That's a big deal. For most of you, this diploma is gonna mean a better job. Statistically, if you don't have a high school diploma, you will make $10,000 less than somebody who does have a high school diploma. And it's very possible that if you go on to college or you go on to get maybe an industry certification or, or some type of additional training, you'll make two or three times more than had you not done that training or education. So education is a ticket to a better life and a more prosperous life. Many of you here today received a lot of support from staff, from family or friends. But in the end, it was you who did the work. In the end, it is you who was, who was, who was really responsible for this accomplishment. And, and you know what? You're very special graduates. Each of you took a more difficult path than the average uh, Vermont student. Many of you worked and went to school at the same time. Some of you raised families at the same time as going to school. And, and some of you had special challenges that you needed to conquer in order to be here today. So that makes you very, very special, every one of you. And you have proven that whatever you put in your mind to do, you can do it. You have done what appeared at times to be impossible, and you have made the impossible possible. You're graduating with the tools and confidence to be whatever you want to be. So congratulations, graduates. Uh, we're very proud of you. I know your family and friends are very proud of you. And we wish you all the best for the future and all the success that should come to you. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't know how my voice is up here. Everybody hear me OK? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I'm here right now to do the presentation of the National Honor Adult Education Honor Society um, inductions. And to qualify for the National Adult Education Honor Society, students must demonstrate the following attributes. They must have dependable attendance, a cooperative attitude, and demonstrate exceptional work ethic. Um, students, when I call your name, please come up and we'll give you your certificate. Gracie Adams. Jenna Austin. <laughs> Keegan Bridge. Tucker Bernard, Bernard, sorry. Terry Corpo. <laughs> and Alicia Soul.
Um, at this time, we'd like to do a media presentation, so we'll direct your attention to either the panel center up here. I think that's probably ready to go.
Time, I'd like to invite the plan managers to come up on stage. Amy Cameron, Dora Samadova, Don Manchester Austin. Just give us a, a couple minutes of reorganizing. I just, I can balance these. While we're just sorting out a few papers up here, I just wanted to talk about the graduation gift. Um, the gift this year are the, the plants that are in front of you. Uh, the gift is a metaphor of your individual learning journeys. You've toiled and tilled and cultivated your educational paths, and today is the day you reap the benefits. You've earned your diploma and are graduating. Let these herbs be a reminder. No one blames the lettuce when it doesn't grow. We alter the conditions 
We change the way we see it, or we adapt its form for a new purpose. Sometimes we use it for puns, like at graduation time. So we'd like you to just heed this sage advice. One, value each of your savory and aromatic qualities. And two, give yourself plenty of water and sunlight, and we'll continue to watch you grow. Okay, now we'll be doing the presentation of certificates. When I call your name, please come up. Gracie Adams. Jenna Austin. <laughs> Delaney M. Baker. Andrew D. Brace. <laughs> Keegan A. Brace. Ashley L. Berto Stoddard. Oh, oh. It was going to happen to someone. I did not It's us. Tucker W. Bernard. Yeah! Janessa A. Burns. Sue Ann Cooper. Oh. Terrence A. Coro. Cody R. Hoy. <laughs> Tristan M. Kelleher. Maya J. McMahon. Okay. 
Sasha M. Meyer. Haley A. Mott. Cole T. Peasley. Robert A. Rivers. <laughs> Gianna A. Roque. Alicia D. Soul. Hunter A. Torba. Kara R. Trombley. <laughs> Elijah D. Willie. Christina A. Ewan. Congratulations to all of you for this class, and right now I return the mic. Okay. And for the official business, I'll turn it back over to Eric for just a moment. Thank you, everybody. Uh, once again, I would like to remind all of you to please remain seated until the graduates have exited the sanctuary. Um, and now this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Graduates, if I could have you all please rise. And now, 
As a symbol, as your new status as high school graduates, you may move the tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side, and by virtue of the authority granted by the state of Vermont, I hereby confer upon all of you the status of high school graduate and all the rights, honors, and privileges associated with this new status. Congratulations. <laughs>